Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Raquel. Good evening, everyone. Thanks, Raquel. You're my best friend, and I love you very much. Your kind words make me feel very happy and very proud to be living this moment. This day has finally arrived. I've been waiting for a year and a half, and here we are now. <laughs> Raquel, you were so active in lobbying for this to happen. Your enthusiasm and belief that I merited this great honor has been remarkable, and for this, I thank you, my friend. I see so many familiar faces. This is one thing tennis has given me. Beautiful friendships and opportunity to meet amazing people everywhere I go. Thank you, Linda, Cindy, and Siri for being here and celebrate this moment with me. And Diego, who could not be here tonight, but I'm sure he's watching from home. I would like to thank all the committee members of the Hall of Fame for this induction. It is a great honor for me to be here today and be a part of world tennis history. It is my first time here, and I can say that I've been enjoying every moment, and I thank you all for making me feel very welcome. Seeing the museum and all of the legends and the great players that have been honored made me both proud and humble that my name will be amongst them. It's just an amazing feeling and something that I will treasure all my life. My love for tennis began the moment I saw my brothers play tennis throughout the window of my family home in Spain, and I wanted to play as well. I picked up the racket at the age of nine, and I started to play against a wall. It was love at first sight, and it became the only thing I wanted to do. Playing against girls of my age and even older, it became clear to me that perhaps I could realize my ambition of becoming a good tennis player and perhaps one of the best in the world. I would dream of playing against my idols, Martina Navratilova and Joan McEnroe. In my, in my imagination, we would play amazing matches over and over again, and I love every minute of it. Unfortunately, I never mastered the art of surf and volley, and they did, and they did but my backhand was okay sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> this was the start of my love affair with tennis, and soon I started to play and took private lessons with the local coach from my small town of Monthon. Quite soon, I was playing junior championships and improving, so I moved to Barcelona, where I had the opportunity to practice with and play against the best kids of my age. At the age of 12, this move was not easy, neither for me nor my parents, but this did not discourage me from pursuing my dream of becoming a professional tennis player. In 1988, I was 16 and won my first title in Sofia. I went on to win 32 more singles titles, the last one being in 2005. When asked by journalists and fans which title means the most special for me, I have no doubt I'm insane Wimbledon. I had mixed feelings about playing on grass at that time, probably because we Spanish players did not have much experience of playing on this surface and it felt pretty uncomfortable. But every year I improved my game on grass, working hard and accepting that I had to change things to get results. And boy, did I get great results. I am so proud to have been the first Spanish woman to take the title home. The memory of playing, playing against and defeating Martina Navratilova, who was going after her 10th championships at Wimbledon, will stay with me forever. Being selected for the Spanish Fed Cup team was unique. In the 90s, we had a great team, including highly professional doctors and physios, with whom we had an amazing time and created strong bonds of friendships. All this resulted in five Fed Cup titles and 10 finals, and I am very proud to have represented my country for so many years. Years later, I was the first female captain of the Spanish Fed Cup and Davis Cup teams at the same time. It was an amazing experience to also work with the, with the male players, and I hope they felt the same way. Hopefully, women will follow in my footsteps. 
I won three Olympic medals, including one in my home country in Barcelona, 92. And to win the silver medal in doubles was one of the most thrilling moments of my life. But let me tell you, playing for your country in Fed Cup or the Olympic is no walk in the park. The responsibility is huge as you feel you're carrying the hopes of your country or on your shoulders. A sleep did not come easy, as you can imagine, but yet I feel privileged and proud to represent Spain. So thanks, tennis. This wonderful sport has given me unforgettable moments, moments that require dedication, sacrifice, effort, patience, positivity, optimism, and above all, belief in yourself. If you want your dreams to come true, these words must become part of your daily life. As a professional coach, I try to transmit these values to all my past players and I am currently honored to be working with Garbin Muguruza, inspiring, inspiring her to greater achievements. I would now like to thank all of the people that have helped me throughout my career, coaches, fitness trainers, doctors, psychologists, agents, sponsors, etc. Tennis is an individual sport, but you need to have a very professional support group behind you. Thank you all for guiding me throughout this journey, and of course, thanks so much to the fans all over the world. You have been amazing. Gracias. We're here today thanks to the effort of the original nine. The nine, brave women, Peaches, Rosy, Julie, Billie Jean, Christy, Nancy, Valerie, Judy, and Kerry. You changed the history of women's tennis, and of course, we've come a long way. Thanks to you, and congrats. <laughs> Goran, congratulations. I met you when you won the Olympic bronze in Barcelona 92. I tried to copy your serve, but it was completely out of reach. <laughs> And a special mention for Dennis van der Meer, teacher of teachers, for the fantastic job he did around the world in teaching tennis and for effectively making our sport grow. Finally, a special thanks to the people who have been beside me in my passion, because I feel very honored to be all able to share these moments with them. Firstly, my huge gratitude for, to my parents. They taught me great values, sacrifice, honesty, humility, commitment, and so on. They always stood beside me, never pressuring me, and always supporting me. I am so very proud of them and miss not having them here tonight as this honor is also for them. Secondly, my brother Roberto and his wife, Elena, who are here tonight, thanks for making the trip to be here with me. My brother Fernando, who is with my parents watching from home, and last but not least, my wonderful partner, Stefania, <laughs> who I thank her for her continued support in letting me enjoy my passion for coaching. It is not easy with all this travel, but your love and support gives me the strength to continue. I love all of you very much. I am so honored that I get to share this moment with them and all of you. This is really special, not just for me, but for all of us. Thank you. Thank you.